It's known as the Canadian Sports Heroes Collection, and when the opportunity to bring 12 of these paintings to the Fernie Museum arose, director curator Ron Ulrich says it was a chance too good to pass up. Given the, you know, the sport nature of Fernie, um, and the fact that a number of different people uh, from the local community had competed at both the national and international level, including the Olympics. Uh, it just seemed that this exhibition was a real strong fit for us. The collection, which is on loan from Canada's Sports Hall of Fame in Calgary, is the first high-profile exhibit to come to the museum. We were very pleased that the, a national museum of that caliber had agreed to lend us this show as kind of our inaugural traveling exhibition. The artist behind the paintings, Gordon Milne, was in Fernie for the gallery launch in late 2014, and along with the reception, ran a series of workshops for young and aspiring artists. To have a group of young artists come in, work with an artist of that caliber, learn from him, uh, was a tremendous opportunity. But it wasn't just for kids. Laurie Bradish, programming coordinator at the museum and an aspiring artist herself, took part in Milne's sketching workshop. It was an in-depth look at just how much detail can go into the final product. Looking at a person's face and deciding, you know, the space between their eyes and the lines of their nose and the lines of their mouth. So it really was a good direction in sort of analyzing what, you're, what you hope to paint. And if seeing these portraits isn't enough, the public will soon get the chance to meet two of the athletes featured in the exhibit, as Olympians Becky Scott and Kevin Martin will be coming to Fernie in late February, early March. An opportunity for the community to come and meet these individuals, and that really is a theme for a lot of our programming. <laughs> The museum also has an exhibit entitled This Is Our Fernie. It gives a number of different perspectives of what Fernie is and how it's become the community that it has um, from very much uh, kind of an everyday person's perspective. It features a variety of cultural artifacts from the town's past, like this silverware salvaged from the old Methodist church during the 1908 fire which ripped through the town. As the Methodist church was burning to the ground, the, the minister grabbed as probably one of the more expensive and valuable items monetarily to the church, grabbed that set of silverware and fled the church. The museum is open daily from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. and sees around 17,000 visitors per year. And based on what he's seen in the last few months, Ulrich is excited for what lies ahead. As the museum's programming continues to grow, that that awareness of our institution will only become greater. For Go Kootenays Inferni, I'm James Farnan.